What's up guys, it's Coach David, and today, Coach Travis and I wanna go over partner hamstring curls. This movement is something that we do a lot in class as an accessory movement, and um, I feel like a lot of people really don't do this movement, especially if they're working out on their own, um, and it's just a great hamstring developer. So check it out. The partner hamstring curl. You will have one partner performing the hamstring curl. Now, if you're on a hard surface, I would suggest using some type of mat for the knees, but some of you have very strong knees, um, so maybe you don't need a mat. However, myself, I need the mat. I like to go with the toes tucked under. See how my toes are tucked under? I'm not going feet flat, toes tucked under. My partner is going to apply pressure onto my heels, like so. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly lean forward and I'm gonna engage those hamstrings from the start. I'm also pushing against Travis's hands here. Then I'm gonna brace the midline nice and tight and I'm going to come forward. You can have your hands ready to go just in case you don't make it all the way down and you support yourself on the way down. So I'm squeezing my hamstrings nice and tight. The eccentric phase is important, bringing it down. I get to the bottom, I can't control all the way to the bottom, I'll use my hands. And then I'm gonna give myself a slight push. Don't use only your arms here. Slight push, squeeze, use those hamstrings to come back to the top. So we're focused on the eccentric phase on the way down and on the concentric phase coming back up. It's not just arms only and fly to the top. Give yourself a little push, engage those hamstrings again and bring it back up. So one more time, partner has pressure on the feet. I'm gonna move slightly forward, engage the hamstrings, push against, push my heels against his hands and I'm coming down nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, woo! And then I'm gonna slightly assist myself, whoa, and take it back to, up to the top. If you have not done these before, guys, I recommend starting in sets of about four to five. Um, if you try to overload this right away, you are definitely going to feel it and you're really not gonna get the most out of it. It's challenging at first, so start fewer reps and as you get better, you can increase and increase over time. That is the partner hamstring curl. So grab a partner, do -si do and get those hamstrings nice and strong, guys. Coach David, Coach Travis, OTL Fitness here in Austin, Texas. We are out. Yeah.